Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. It's such an honor to be inducted in this class this year. I just have to say, to be part of this class with the late, great Jack White, who is a mentor to so many people in this room. Tim, we loved your dad, and I'm just thrilled to be a part of the class with him and everybody else tonight. Dad was incapable of phoning it in. He cared so much about his craft and had a deep respect for the power and reach of journalism. That it was. It really was such a uh, such a great night last night, and a proud night for everybody here at the Big Dozen, as uh, several of our own colleagues and journalists were inducted into the Radio and TV Hall of Fame. Part of the 2023 class it includes former 12 News this morning anchor D North. That's right, <laughs> Danielle was there with the entire family, and the late investigative reporter, and just an incredibly good guy. Jack White as well, and uh, Tim got up and made a speech about his dad, and his, it was just really just a great, actually everybody did. He said it was wonderful. It was, it was just, it was a good night. Uh, Tim's speech about his, his dad was, was funny, and just moved everybody who had the chance to work with, work with, uh, with Jack when he was here at uh, WPRI. So, so it was, just a great it was night. It was a good night. It was, yeah. you know, it was, it was so, so, much, uh, so much fun for, you know, to, to see everybody who was there. There was probably a little over, I think a little over 300 people. That's a great crowd. Yeah, Come, come together to people. support and, and be happy for everybody. That's great. Look, the biggest fear when you go to these things is somebody's going to be... What, when they get up to speak? Oh, oh, oh. I know. But no well, one did, look, he said. Everybody nobody said it was great. There was a few that were... Can we name names? Are we not allowed to? There was a couple that teetered. Okay. Teetered. But, they teetered. But for the most part... It was a great night. It moved. I love it. For the most part, it moved. You know, it. it, it well, Danielle's speech at the beginning, even I good, was just getting was some good. goosebumps all listening was, to that. Danielle gets it. You know? you know, all was good. She moved it. Moved it along. Yes. You know, moved it along. She moved it along. <laughs> Couple in there that could have. <laughs> A little speedy, you know, but tell it, them it was to land like, the plane. Yes. Also, Pam Watts was there last night, who also worked here, and she was incredible. Oh, you love kind of sweet. Yeah. yeah. It was All a great right. night then. That's right. Oh, we're going to th throw things over to, uh, to, to Brenna Kirby. When, when are they opening up the Will Gilbert wing <laughs> of the Rhode Island Radio and TV uh, Hall of Fame? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'll be, I, may be six, I may be six feet under by the time that happens. If so, I want you to do the speech. Uh, I'd be more than happy yes, to. Yes, I would like you to He'll do the speech. Uh, yes, make, make it quick. Make it quick. Quickly. Well, no, you know what? I don't want him to make it. No. Yes, yes, when, you, you, when it's me, I'd like him like to. an hour. Yeah, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Let's not do, be too greedy. There will be a halftime when I do it for you. <laughs> yes. But uh, really, congrats to all of yeah, those yeah, people. Yeah, truly. Um, just honor. wonderful to see Danielle and for Tim to be able to honor his dad. That's right. yeah, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Well, good morning, my good friends. Good morning. As we all know, there is indeed a day for everything nowadays. And although, as you both know, and I know, and everyone really knows, at times this can be downright exhausting. Right. You know? However, sometimes they are fun and worth acknowledging. This is particularly the case when we have valuable network affiliate airtime to kill. Yes. So having said that, today, September 22nd, was that a snort, Audrey? It was. <laughs> Second snort. Sorry, so we need a we need a snort board. This is the second one Show since me. you started. <laughs> Snorting total. Second one. Snort. I tried not to go too loud. For those of you playing along. Anyway, I don't miss that anything. Wasn't your mic'd up. Nope. Today is not National Snorting Day. It's <laughs> National Centenarians oh, Day. Oh wow. Which honors those celebrities or those people, not just celebrities who have lived to be a hundred to a uh, hundred years old. How got about it. that? So in honor of this, I have prepared one of my always mildly amusing Kirby quizzes. Na 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 Kirby quiz. Nice. Okay, <laughs> now the way the Kirby quiz works is what will happen is. Na 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 Kirby quiz. Boom. Good to go. <laughs> and back to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this will get us in the Hall of Fame, won't it? <laughs> Today is a Celebrity Centenarians Day edition of the. Quiz. All right, okay. so I will need no, 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 that no, was no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bit much. That was, that was great. I wasn't expecting that. Nicely done, Eric. I will name a celebrity, and you will have to tell me if they actually live to be 100 years old or oh, not. Oh, good. Are All you right. ready? Okay, ready. Yes. First up, legendary art entertainer Bob Hope, Mr. USO Tour. What do you think? I yes? do not believe no? Bob made it to 100. Audrey? Okay. I'm going to go with Will. I'm going to say no then. He did. He did. Oh, Bob he did. Hope, born May 29th, 1903, passed away July 27th, 2003, at oh, the wow. age of 100. At the 100. age of 100. Wow, All right. that's great. Okay, up next, actor, comedian, the legendary George Burns. 
Did I make it too early? I think he did. Yes? Yes. Yes, born yes, January 20th, 1986. Because I, I think there was a big party for him when he when they did. That's right, March 9th. My nan and papa loved him. Yeah, yeah. So funny. Yeah. Betty White, iconic actress, comedian, and producer. No. She did not. No. Just shy of 100. She Just made shy it of 99. I know my Golden Girls. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner, no? I believe he did. Audrey? I said no. No, he passed away at the age of 98. Oh, okay. Born March 20th, 1922. Passed away uh, June of 2020. How about this one? Norman Lear, legendary TV producer, writer, creator. Yes. Audrey? I don't know, so I'll go with yes. Norman Lear is 102 years old, wow. still going strong. Yes, How incredible still career. Still going strong. Yes, he is. Remarkable. Wow. So many different TV shows. And last but not least, Cher. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, so no, 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 no. It's a lot of plastic. Turn back just, time. Turn yes, back turn time. time. Oh, no. Wow. See? Look at, Look at that. I was snapping. Wait, Actually, yes. Wait, did you hear that? Uh, what did she say? She said turn back time. Turn back time. Oh, well. You guys are so caught off guard Very that I know like, a, a song <laughs> lyric or something or title. Very impressive. <laughs> According to my notes, on May 20th of this year, Cher actually did turn 100 years old. No, I'm <laughs> no. Not. If only we could all be so lucky to make it to our late 90s. Well, I would, I hey, know, I'd be right? thrilled. Or maybe Knock even, on wood. even 100, happy. but that's how how we do it right yes. here. <laughs> that's how we play the Kirby <laughs> Quiz. na 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 the Kirby Quiz. Hi again. All right, Friday morning is upon us, and Audrey, we have a great show. We have a great, show. great Roadie Roundup panel will be joining us momentarily. Nick yes. G from Hot 106. Oh, Camilla, He's awesome. influencer extraordinaire, will be here, and Elise Major, yes. editor in chief of uh, Providence Media. Yeah, first. So many things happening. I'm just hoping Will has made it to the kitchen because he's, he's a quick little Will. Time. Take it away, buddy. <laughs> 